Well, this should be a fun one on the ice tonight. Hi, everybody. I'm James Sabalski for EA Sports. We get set to drop the puck on a little hut. And we are about set to drop the puck on this one. The Flames have won the draw, and we are now underway. Come catch up to that pass. Edmonton's got the puck. Puck grab by McCarr. Passes ahead from the right side. Here's a chance. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Relentless pressure. And that goes off course off a body. Picked up along the wall by Nurse. Oh, what a save. Uh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. The Flames take possession in the defensive end. Oh, what a hip check on the play. He delivered that perfectly. And we've got an offside with a face-off looming. Well, this is the definition of rivalry, isn't it, Cheryl? It really is. You see these teams going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It's a 200-foot game here, back and forth action. And we're just witnessing some frustration and a heated tempers flaring. In a word, Spirited from these two rivals. Well, that's a nice way to put it, James. Every time you hear the boards go, it's an extra shove or it's an extra hit. But these two teams, every time they do it, they just have a little bit more. And that's why a rivalry is what it is. Well, cooler heads finally prevailing here as both teams step inside the faceoff circle. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Edmonton's going to play it from the corner. Here's a shot. Oh, it's saved him. Oh, my goodness, what a stop. Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. The Oilers play it along the wing. From the slot. Turns it away. Stretching your body, finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save. That's what he did, and that's why the save was made. Well, a huge face-off coming up here. Well, you know that you want to gain possession and you want to keep the pressure on because the goaltender is the only one who can't change, and he is the most fatigued guy on the ice. So you want to find ways to get some net front presence, get shot through the net, because, man, he needs a rest. Edmonton's got the puck against the half wall. for a goaltender to get a read on, James. You're in that inner slot area. The puck's on the backhand, fighting for position and getting it off quickly. That's a tough one to read and a reason why it goes to the back of the net. Edmonton's drawn first blood here in this one by getting on the board first. Uh, that's exactly what you want to do. You want to play with the lead, not behind it, James. And now it's what they do next. They've created some energy for themselves. Now it's about continuing to attack and find the back of the net again.
quick pass to Hughes. And here's the pass to McCarr. The Oilers take it along the wall. as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. The Oilers have been the dominant team here midway through the first period and they lead it. Back underway and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Rips it and rips it! Oh, he saved it! What a stop! Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to the up to that shot, James. I mean, the puck just explodes off the stick. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Ajo's quick stick lands from the puck here at center. To the front! And that shot goes Film. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Handles the pass. The Flames move the puck in the defensive zone. All oh, those boards rattled after that hit. Wow! And he's rattling as well, James. I mean, we knew that hit was coming, and then all of a sudden, bell, and he's down for the count. Weidman's out for the remainder of the game, James, with that injury he suffered earlier. We've just received word from the staff that he will be out for an indefinite amount of time. An unfortunate storyline here throughout the game, and now we know for sure he won't be back. And he keeps possession. And he can't hang on after that hit. Edmonton's got it along the wall. Makes a move in front. Big time stop. They have succeeded in that game plan already here late in the first. Gets a hold of the puck here at his own end. The Flames will play it from the defensive zone. Less than a minute to go here in the opening frame. Now he takes it over the line. Quick shot! Center, they've got a hold of the puck. Pokes the 
puck away. Time to get a clean sheet of ice here as period number one comes to an end. As you heard the horn sound, we'll be back with much, much more as this is going to be a fun one. Takes it to the net, and the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. 
And he maintains possession of the puck here. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. Picked off by Zadorov. Moves it to LeBlanc. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Takes that pass back to the point. Denies him. He got all of it. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Takes the shot. Denied by the blocker. Makes the save again. Oh, what a smart heads up play. The Flames will play it in their own end. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. Shot. Can't get it to go. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Gets it over to Gretzky. Here we go, on man rush. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Blocked in front. Cuts into the paint. Oh, what a save on the play. Oh, that's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. James, I mean, the score could be a lot worse. The save percentages, but he's doing everything to keep this team in it. They need to shore up their defensive end and get going more. Edmonton's been an impressive club to watch tonight, especially offensively, as they lead big here late in the second. Save made with the pad. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Edmonton's been the better team tonight, and they lead as a result late in the second. Takes a shot. Stoppage in play as the puck goes up and over. We'll get a face off. Well, there you go. Two periods down. One more to go, at least for now, right? Third period just around the corner. so far. Edmonton's been driving play all game. They sit with a comfortable lead with 20 minutes to go here, and they need to make sure they manage the puck and make smart decisions, and then they can call this one a win. The Oilers have built themselves up a comfortable lead here in this third period. McDavid's won the draw there on the attack. And that's blocked. Shuts him down. That knocks him off the puck. Picked up along the wall by McDavid. Gets a glove on it to make the save. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Face off coming up here in the offensive zone. Well, yeah, they'll want to continue with the sustained pressure yeah. because the goaltender, he is fatigued. And they win the offensive zone face off, and here we go. tonight and they lead it early in this third. The Flames start with the puck in their own end. Slides the puck over. The Flames will play it from the defensive zone. Hard hit frees up the puck. Great poke check on the reach. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. On the attack along the boards. The Flames have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Edmonton's got it now. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. And that caroms off a body in traffic. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Simple stop by Metzger. Pasternak's working it around in the corner. And oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Tangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. 
The Oilers gain possession in their own end. Inside the offensive zone. Score! So that was a beauty! Locked in the back end is harder to control here, James. But man, he has a hold of it. He corrals it and he gets it up high in a hurry and beats the goaltender. been running away with this one since the beginning of the game and no signs of slowing down in the third. It's been a productive night and this is one of those games that gives everyone confidence and this is important for your lineup as everyone gets it as they feel like they're contributing. Moves inside! Big save! Pasternak's back on the ice after serving a five-minute major for fighting and he had an opportunity to rest and relax in the box as sometimes fighting can take a lot out. He scores! chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice. The setup, the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. Oh, and it stays out as he gets a piece of that one. The Flames cross the line and gain the zone. What a hit on the play! Oh, my! Yeah, you 
clearly knew what he was doing here. He got all of them, tags him, knowing full well that he's going to disengage that puck. <laughs> Love it. Power play set to roll on as the centers get ready for the faceoff. Edmonton's won the draw in the neutral zone. The Oilers played along the boards. And now it's grabbed by Nylander. Denies him in close. Otto standing up, ready to go. Dismissed that chance. Power play expires, and they got to be left shaking their heads as they fail to convert and serve up a shorthanded goal. Sometimes when you're on a power play, you can get caught cheating. I think you have a lot more time than you do, and it winds up in the back of their net. That's a tough one. Edmonton's top line is going to... Oh, he made the save! How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. Tremendous pressure here! for this team to be able to say, hey fans, you've been there all the way. Fun night at the rink and for all of us here at the EA Sports team, I'm James Cebulski. Good night.